Welcome to Alex She's Aquarium, everybody. Today I want to talk a little bit about the 150 gallon refuge tank, specifically the mantis shrimp. I got a short video I'm going to play here of the mantis getting some live prey. I don't get her live fish very often to eat, but one happened to come up at the local fish store that was an undesirable that they did not want there because nobody ever wants to keep it in their aquarium. And it happened to be that they got a vampire blunny in. And a vampire blunny is kind of like a mimic of a cleaner wrasse, except they eat fish scales or chunks of fish, and that's their primary diet. So it's not a fish you ever want to keep in an aquarium because by nature they're predatory and feed on other fish. It was taking up space, wasn't gonna do them any good, they didn't want to just throw it away. And I said, well, let me go ahead and take it home and uh, put it with the mantis shrimp. If you don't already know, I am a really big advocate for mantis shrimp. I always keep mantis shrimp. In the 150 gallon refuge tank, I have a yellow spearing mantis. Had that mantis since I started the tank up. It was one of the very first things that I put into the tank. And I love having the mantis shrimp. I love their behavior. I love everything about them. They're very fascinating and unique animals. Every now and then, I want to make sure that this shrimp gets to hunt just as it would in the wild. So I will put a live fish in. I did release a video at Halloween titled The Layer of the Mantis Shrimp. I'll link it in this video if you'd like to see it, where you can see some of the hunting of this mantis shrimp. It was really interesting though when I put the vampire blunny into this tank, the mantis took one swing at it and missed. I'm not sure if it was intentional or just a miscalculation. I cut that little funny part of the clip and then basically the little vampire blunny started swimming around the tank just out of striking range. Not sure if it knew the mantis was there, but the mantis proceeded to kind of crawl all over the tank to try and get close until it finally did get close and just nailed that thing and made a nice little meal out of it for itself. If you have any questions or comments on the mantis shrimp and their care in general, let me know. I'll be doing more videos on the mantis as time goes on. I'll probably even get one or two more mantis shrimp into my system when I can get some other little holding tanks together for them. Let me go ahead and roll the clip of the mana shrimp and its last feeding session here. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, there she is. Swing and a miss. Holy crap, man, the vampire teeth on that thing just sprung out.
this is the clip of the mantis shrimp kind of stalking and finally uh, attacking that vampire bloody. I hope you enjoyed it. And I think it's a really awesome view of nature and how these animals act in the wild. Don't do this just to make fish suffer or anything. I want to make sure that that shrimp can exercise its natural hunting skills from time to time. That's exactly what I was doing. If you have comments or questions on the mana shrimp about what kind of care mana shrimp need or if you're considering getting one, let me know if you have any questions down below. If you like today's video, give me that thumbs up. Let me know that you like the content. If you didn't, that's okay too. You can leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more videos on the animals living in my 1600 gallon system and the progress of my 1600 gallon system build, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching everybody and I will see you on the next video.